Hello YouTube viewers. So here we have this Pix Mob Cement the 1.1 R3 bracelet little light thing here that my sister got recently at some concert, which I think it was the weekend after hour still dawn. Don't know these, I don't know the song artist, but she gave me this because she knows that I like to tinker with this kind of stuff. So I started doing some research, and there was a viewer that tried to, well, they did, they just shorted some pins out with a piece of tin foil, but they didn't really show which pins were what, so I'm going to try to explain that here in detail, because I successfully did get this to do something without all that RF, without all the RF stuff going on. Because this particular PixMob LED bracelet light is an RF model. And this is supposedly works at 915 megahertz. So that is the frequency that this operates at. But we're going to ignore that in this video. We're just going to get this to do something. And I'm going to kind of go in detail which pins to short out. So there's this website here that I came across. Not gonna even dare pronounce that, but if you are watching, shout out to you. Now I'm just gonna skip all this because there's some important, there's a very important schematic on this that definitely be very useful. So I came across this. So there's all the breakdown of a similar of a similar PixMob bracelet. There is an IR model, which that is not this. This one's the RF model, so. But this should apply to the IR models as well. So, there is this chip here you that we are interested in. So, essentially what you're going to do, you're going to short pin eight to pin seven, six, and five. That is the ground. Because this is what connects to the actual LEDs themselves. These are non-addressable LEDs, so these are just work. If you just apply power to them, they just work. So, here, as you can see, we have, there is two chips on this particular model of the bracelet this one here we're going to ignore we don't want to mess with this chip this one here you want to mess with this one has no labels and it applies with the ir models themselves the PixMod bracelets so you're going to take something like this flathead screwdriver for example and i'm going to try to do this single hand i'm going to put a picture on the screen of that chip and i might label the pins so you know what I'm talking about. Because I need two hands here to do this. So I'm going to. As you can see. It's duly subted. And all I'm doing is shorting those pins out. I'm bypassing that chip. This is not going to hurt anything. You don't want to touch those pins. You do not want to touch any of the other ones. You're only touching pins 5 to 8. So, as you saw, you get a pretty good light show, but... That is one way to get these things to work without messing with the RF. So, on this chip here, there is a little dot. That dot represents pin 1. So this bottom row here where the dot is at, pin 1, and this is pin, and then the last pin on the bottom row here is 4. So that is that. You do not mess with those. This camera will focus. These upper pins is what you want to mess with, as I said, for the milling time. And also, apparently after a few days after going to... This concert where you acquired one of these Pix mods, right? So you do want to replace your batteries because apparently these chew through batteries, and that is the case with this model here. 
So these batteries are flat. So if you're wondering why your Pix Mobs is not doing what it's supposed to be doing after watching this video, change the batteries out. They just use these standard CR2032 batteries that you could get at your local grocery store, Costco, etc., even Home Depot. You just set them in there. Make sure that they are set exactly like this. And they should be printed on the plastic mold here. So there is a plus and there's a minus. Make sure that they line up with those. So the plus goes to the plus and the minus goes to the minus, but the minus faces up like that. And then on your back of the circuit board, there's also a plus and a minus. You line this up with the batteries like that. If you hook it up backwards, there is a chance you could do some damage to this board. So you do not want to do that because obviously you're working with DC power and not alternating current. So this is a little short video on how to get this working with full explanations of how, how this works, at least the LED driver. So remember, the unknown non-labeled chip, do not touch any of the other ones. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.